Hi, it's me, Brenda. So, I sort of thought we could do some crafting. Hi, welcome to my channel, My New Me, where you get to watch as I try to make sense out of the chaos that has become my life and my home. How lucky are you? I have these things. I have these things. I have all of these toddler gloves. I want to do a black one with a gray one. Oh, you know what? I already opened a black one. Well, this is like a darker. Oh, that's a brown. Helps if you look at it. I have black thread. Sorry, I had to move you. Now I'm going to take one of these things. Oh. One of these things. So I'm cutting off the finger on the black glove. And I'm going to cut off the thumb. There we go. And a gray glove. Then I made I can go away. I made myself a little funnel out of paper. So I'm sticking my finger in here and I'm going to Stretch it out a little bit just to make give us some working space. I'm going to stick my little funnel down inside. And I have rice, a bag of rice. I forgot to plug in my glue guns, so I need to plug those in. Nothing like being fully prepared. I'm sure there are easier ways of doing this. However, this is what I have available here. So I have my rice. I have the finger that I cut off right at the base of the finger. My funnel, and I'm just going to take a spoonful of rice, pour it in my funnel, and shake it out of the funnel so that it fills. So that it fills the little finger. I'm feeling very fumble fingered here. just made three of them, didn't have any problems, so I start recording it, and I start dropping things and, you know, fumble-fingered. So I'm sticking my finger down in here just to tuck it down in so we have a nice pudgy little body. And I'm going to put more in there. The little girl is not going to be part of this craft because I have the hot glue guns out. And she has learned the hard way that we don't play around the hot glue guns. Whoops. We do, however, spill rice all over the floor while we're making this. So I'm calling that close enough. I could have chosen a better color for right here. But I am calling this close enough. I'm gonna stand it up there. Probably spill it all over anyway. I'm gonna take some black thread. It's actually embroidery thread. You could use string, you could use Probably yarn, regular thread, whatever you wanted to. This is what I happen to have here. So I'm going to tuck that down in and I'm going to tie this around the top. You want it kind of close to the top, but you don't want it too close because you don't want it to slide off. And then I'm going to tie it again so that it's in a knot. And have it nice and tight. You don't want any of the rice shown from the top there. 
Let me shut, shut. Let me cut that off pretty short. I'm done with this so that can go away. Go far, far away. So there I have my black. What I am going to do now is I'm going to kind of glue this down just because I have learned that they tend to run. They'll get frayed and they'll run and then you have an open spot running down the side of your little guy. And it doesn't have to be pretty because it's not going to show, but it just keeps it down. It helps the hat go on better if it's not so poofy. And it stops the the cut ends from fraying and getting a like a stocking run. And then you're going to tie it, take a string and tie it around the middle about to where, and actually what I usually do is look, this one's smoother and I did okay up top. Back here I got the hot glue kind of smeared all over. So I want this to be my front, my knot to be in the back so it doesn't show on the front. But I found if you kind of tie it a little loose and then look at it, you can adjust it. It's hard to tell with the black thread on the black glove. But if you just tie it around, do your knot, but don't tighten it, then you can adjust where you want it to go, where you want it to be, to differentiate between your body and your head. And then you're just going to pull it tight. And it can be however tight you really want it to be. Depends on how much of that hourglass figure you want your little critter to have. And again, because these are really cheap gloves, sometimes the, the rice will poke through. And you kind of just have to poke it back. And then this one you want to cut off pretty small. Pretty short down. And I did double knot that so that it stayed tied nice and tight. And this is going to be black and gray, so I think I'm going to use silver glitter pipe cleaner. But this is going to be my little neck band. And so I am just measuring it now. Cut it off. I'm gluing this on the back of my guy so that the front doesn't get all messed up. So I'm going to take this, put a little dab of glue right there, and then smoosh down my pipe cleaner. Burn my finger doing it. And I'm going to wrap it around. Pen the end. The end's not wanting to bend. There we go. And then I'm going to put another little dab of hot glue. Smush that one down. Burn my finger again. And that will hold this. Hold his little neck band on. And there's that part. Now I want my the thumb that I cut off of the other color, the gray. has some black thread stuck on it. Seriously, come on. And this one I found is easier to put on your finger and then roll it up. So I'm going to roll it up a couple of times. Give it a nice little band around it. There we go. And pull it down. Then to get Make sure that this thing always, I like mine nice and flat, but to make sure it stays, I'm going to fold this down, put a tiny drop of hot glue right there. Now oh, what's going on with this? I'm very shaky tonight. That's what's half the problem. There we go. Put a drop of hot glue and then I'm going to fold the band up over. 
and stick it down there. And that's going to keep your hat band going. Keep the hat shape. And then I'm going to put hat on here where I want. I find it's easier to like put your front on, hold it in place with your thumb, and then pull the back down over. It just seems to go a little better. And now I'm going to play with it, move it around, mush it some, squish it a little bit more. There, I kind of like that position. And now I'm going to peel up the front band. Put a little bit of hot glue there. That is one tough trigger. There we go. Just to keep it in place so it doesn't move all over the place. Either my hands are weak or that trigger is pretty tough. Then on the back, I like the back to go all the way down to the neck. Like the real flopsy hats that they wear. So I'm going to peel up the back. Put some hot glue right here. Well, way too much. So either I wasn't getting enough or I got way too much. Oh well. Oh well. Then I'm going to fight with the hot glue strings. We do a lot of that, don't we? So there's a little guy. And more mushing and squishing. Oh, I forgot his antenna. So I'm going to take some more of the silver. Decide how long I kind of want the antenna to be. I'm going to fold that in two at the length. Cut off a chunk of it. And then cut off at the fold. And that way they're both roughly the same length. Not that they absolutely have to be, but they both are. And then I'm going to put just a tiny drop of hot glue on the end of the pipe cleaner and then stick it in the edge of the hat rim and stick it right down in there because we've got to have our antenna sticking up out of our hat right do the same thing for this one put a tiny bit of hot glue on the end and stick it down in the hat rim on this side because who wants a bug with two with only one antenna and then I bend the antenna a little bit. Mush and gush again. And now my eyes are going to be where it all. Oh, I hope you were seeing that. So my eyes, I'm just going to take some hot glue and put like a drop of it. And it's going to make a mess, but the messy part you can cut away. You really just want two drops. That one really made a mess. Uh-oh. That didn't work at all. Seemed like the more I tried to make the eyes this way, the more it messed up. The first few came out perfect, but by the time I got to this one, it was just really bad. I really think it depends on the temperature of the glue gun. Somewhere, I had... What? Yeah? Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? I don't believe it. You can't come up here though. Not with the hot glue guns. And you really just need a tiny bit. And then you can burn your fingers and put it right in the middle of the belly. Have a little yellow gem on the belly. Where's the other one? Here it is. Found it. And then take this yellow gem honestly I don't know where these yellow gems came from found them on the floor and I don't know if they fell off of something or if they were already here and the cats just kind of discovered them and dragged them out I like them they work stupid hot glue string is just awful so I'm just taking these tiny scissors and I'm going to clean up where the hot glue string got everywhere. 
And when the boy comes over, he's going to be all surprised. His mom gave him a bug. Isn't that cool? I'm sure he'll brag to all his friends. <laughs> or not. I'm making the eyes with the, the video that I saw how to do this. She was making snowmen. And she used puffy paint to make the eyes and the faces. And that would probably work better. No. Hey, that stuff is hot. You stay away. Can you see? Somebody wants to be in the middle of this. Yes, I'm talking about you, little girl. It's all about you. But that's hot. Stay away from that. No. I thought we learned that lesson once already. Alright, I'm going to see if I can round this eye up all up a little bit. That might be too much. But one eyeball is going to be way bigger than the other. Hey! Kitty butt, you were not supposed to be part of this video. I was going to have one whole video all to myself. As if that was going to happen. See, the problem is this is the only way she has of getting to the window. She has to walk across the middle of what I'm doing because that's the only path to the middle, to the window. So we were hung up on. I wanted to show you the other ones I've made. Here's the little blue and black guy. No, you didn't make it. I made it. The little blue and black guy I made. And now I'm spending a little too much time talking about each and every one of them. Can you imagine how much work I could get done if my hands were to move as fast and as much as my mouth does? Maybe someday I'll try that. It's doubtful, though. So here's the one I was making for... And I think those are dry now. I'm going to cut off a little excess. I'm really just experimenting here, trying to see what will work and what won't work. Look out, honey. Move. Go back. I'm not going to move for you. You have to move for me. All right? I'm the human. You're a cat. She really does have to be in the middle of everything I do. Now, there's a straight path to the window right behind me. All right, so there's, there's the one I'm making for the boy. And I'm going to... It's all silver, so I'm going to color the eyeballs with this met these metallic pens. These metallic pens have worked out perfect for these bugs. In future bugs, you'll see that I'm not making the eyes on the bug. I'm making them on, the, on some foil. They're working out a whole lot better that way. I mad. Probably work better if you have beads or gems or something that would work as the eyeballs. I don't, so I'm making do with what I have. I think I'm going to find something, though. Next shopping trip, maybe, you know, something at the Dollar Tree. And there's my little bug for the boy. What do you think? And then I have my purple and black, my blue and black. Apparently black is my, my thing today. But what do you think? There's a little bug family. Little family of bugs. There we go. There's a little family of bugs. I want some of this, some of this. I want some of this. I think that'll be it for right now. Oh yeah, I think you'll see the whole table. Cat and all. Yes. I think we'll do that. And you're hearing the coffee maker perk. There we go. Once I got the hang of doing these, they started going a whole lot faster. I got a routine down and started doing them like an assembly line. And I actually got a lot done. The only problem is I don't have a lot left because I keep giving them away to the staff here. They love them, the housekeepers and the front desk people. Even the owner's wife, she loved them. So I think if I want to sell some and try to make some money off of them, I should stop giving them away for free, huh? Well, that's good advertisement, right? And they're fun to make. This is not my original idea. A couple of years ago, I was watching a video on YouTube where a lady used adult-sized gloves to make little snowmen. And I put my own spin on her idea. Right now, I want a little glob of glue here. Blob of glue there. So the silver thing I'm using is just a, a 
foil thing that you peel off of the top of a coffee can. I'll try to find that video and link it in the description box below. I like to give credit where credit's due, but and she does a much better tutorial on how to do it than I do. I will also put Amazon links for all the products that I'm using if anyone is interested in it. They're actually quite inexpensive to make, which is always a plus. Be smart and use the scissors instead of our fingers. There's something new to try. Be smart. Get away from that. You're every time. I know, but you're going to get burned again. I'm pretty sure she was yelling at me there. I received those gloves as a mistake. They were supposed to be one adult pair. They ended up being 12 toddler pair. So I decided to put them to good use. So, but it was around $12, $13 for those 12 pairs of toddler gloves. And out of every two pair, you can get 10 bucks. So out of 12 pair, you're gonna get 60 bucks. That's a pretty, uh, pretty decent price. But, um, I just, I remember when my son was little, we often, very often ended up with only one glove left out of a pair, or the palm would be ripped, or one finger would be ripped. And this, to me, seems like a good way to, wow, my computer's working hard at this, do you hear that? But this seems to be a really good way to use the parts of the glove that... Are, are still okay. You can still use the other fingers if one finger is ripped or the palm is ripped. Or if you're, you know, one glove of a pair is completely MIA, you can use the glove you have left or if part of it's stained. You know, and you just can't get the stain out, you can use it because any stained part on the bug you can always just cover with bling. So, oh, I, I like it. I enjoy making them. They're fun to make. And as far as the rest of it, the bling, you know, you can put into that as much or as little as you want to. You see a lot of my stuff I'm just making. Like the eyeballs. <laughs> I keep trying different camera angles, hoping that you guys can see more of what I'm doing. And then I start getting all engrossed in my bugginess and in... The Lord of the Rings, which is the movie I'm watching while I'm making these. And then I sort of forget where you guys are watching. So I do apologize for that. And for how loud my computer is tonight. I'm not sure what's up with that. But every... Almost, she knows. Of course she knows. And we have a pink and purple bug. So there's my purple and white one. And my pink and purple one. And I have all those other colors of gloves that I can make them. You saw the black and silver one that I made for the boy, and Addie absconded with it. So I don't know, I could put like a magnet on the back and it could go on. I could put like one of those clips on the back and it could be for a backpack. You could, the kids could hang it off the backpack. I could put a string from the top and it could hang on a something. I don't know, what do you guys think? I was thinking I could put them in those little cloth bags that you can buy and I could sell bugs in a bag or a bag of bugs. I don't know. It's something to think about and they're fun to make. And that's all I've got today. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank Addie says hi. Thank you for watching. Take care and toodles.